Hi and welcome to iDesign My Life channel. In this video we are going to progress with our productivity video series and we'll talk about the distractions to productivity. Distractions derail our productivity momentum. Distractions sneak into our lives without us realizing it. By the time we have realized that we are distracted, distraction would have already stolen time from us. So let me share something with you. I was just listening to Sachin Tendulkar's interview after India won the Cricket World Cup in 2011. He mentioned that during the entire year prior to the World Cup and during the World Cup, Indian team refrained themselves from media and social media because they did not want to be distracted. Today we are living in a technology-rich world. There are just so many gadgets and devices that we can work with and play with. Then there are all those applications that can either make our lives easier or can just as easily distract us from the task at hand. And then there is of course television, YouTube and the endless wonders that can be found over the internet. The world is certainly at our fingertips, but for many, this is to our detriment. Your day is probably an endless struggle of trying to fight over distractions in an attempt to get things done. But time and again, we just get caught up checking our emails, conducting unnecessary research on Google, absorbing ourselves in the latest news and gossip from around the world, and so much more. Yes, all this makes us quite busy, but being busy is certainly not the same as being productive. There's a difference, and it's up to you to recognize when your productive efforts turn into nothing more than aimless busyness that gets you nowhere. The second distraction is unnecessary meetings. These meetings are of course for the purpose of getting on the same page with other people on our team so that we can get more work done in pursuit of our organization goals. However, often these meetings are nothing more than a waste of time. They are unnecessary because they take too long and oftentimes don't fulfill their intended purpose. In fact, they often hurt your productivity. Now, please don't get me wrong. Meetings can be quite valuable. However, they do often need to be quick and to the point. Too many times, something that could have been covered within five minutes gets extended over a period of 60 minutes. And that's 55 minutes of productivity loss. These are the traps that can get plenty of organizations fall into. However, it's a trap that you can potentially choose to avoid. Just say no to meetings that don't add any real value. Just make an effort to ensure that the meetings stay on point and take no longer than they should actually do. So next distraction we're going to talk about is saying yes when to say no. We need to understand the value of saying no to unnecessary and low value distractions, to requests, to more commitments or more responsibility then that just don't add any long-term value. Many people who say yes to everything do not have any definitive aim. They have no big picture outcome that they are working towards. However, we need to keep our main goals and objectives at the forefront of our mind. We should not fall into the trap of being, sight of being sidetracked from the task at hand because we cannot say no. The next important thing is your body and health. Health becomes a distraction when you are not well. And this is something which cannot be ignored. And you should always be on top of your health and health should be on top of your priority list. You might have all the best things in your life, but if you're not healthy, then everything goes down the drain. If you're not feeling well, you're falling sick, you are going to impact your productivity. So please make sure that you dedicate at least half an hour in your day for active exercise. This is the minimum I'm talking about. Just try to make it a part of your lifestyle. Walk to office, cycle to office, do anything to get some exercise. The next thing is, which is a distraction, is your personality. If you're one of those people who is very impulsive in nature and have difficulty controlling yourself, then I would suggest you that you should always keep your distractions away from you when you are working. Lock yourself out in a room without any distractions when you're trying to be productive. 
do anything which you can get away from distractions. Finally, the biggest barrier to high levels of productivity sits within your brain. Yes, your brain is your greatest saboteur when you constantly dwell on the problems, indulge in negative thoughts, overanalyze things, stress over minor issues, make excuses and many more things. Your brain will sabotage your productivity throughout the day in multitude of ways. However, it really doesn't have to be this way. You can take charge of your thoughts you allow to dwell in your mind. I'm not going to talk about this much as we have already talked about this in our first part of the series when we, when we talked about our inner game and we talked about managing emotions. So guys, this is it for the session. What are the takeaways from the session? The takeaway is that we need to be very careful with our distractions. Our distractions have the capacity to derail our momentum. So get rid of your distractions. So guys, this is it for this session. We'll talk about time auditing and how we can create more time in 24 hours in our next video of this productivity series. Till that time, invest in yourself, design your lives the way you want to and remember to say to yourself, I design my life.